Hi, I'm Mel and I am Double Pisces Tarot. Today I'm doing a reading for Pisces. So today is the 5th of June, 2024. Let's see what's in the energy for Pisces today. So just remember this is a Pisces collective reading. Take what resonates for you and leave the rest. But if you watch this video, there are messages for you in it. Even though I did say the date, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you watch the video is when you're supposed to receive the messages. Pisces. Messages for Pisces. First card of the reading, you have Mature Man. So Mature Man, this is someone looking at you. There could be a masculine in your energy. It doesn't have to be just someone in masculine energy. A doer. Then you have expectation. And thief. So this person could be hiding something from you. They could be lying, cheating, or stealing. You are expecting this. Or you could <laughs> expect this from this person. You may know this person's doing it. As I said, this person could be in this masculine energy. So someone that's a doer. They could be a teacher. They could be older than you. I feel like they're trying to manipulate the situation. Like trying to manipulate you. On the back of the deck, you've got gift. So there could be someone coming in with a gift. Okay, Pisces, let's grab some tarot now for you. But there's someone in your energy that is trying to deceive you, but I feel like you know. You know, Pisces, you are a Pisces, you're very intuitive. Messages for Pisces today. The Six of Cups, first card. Then the Page of Wands. Then you have the Hierophant. Page of Swords, center of your reading, you've got the Queen of Wands. Then you have Death, the Magician. The Eight of Swords. And the King of Wands. On the back of the deck, you have Temperance and the Six of Wands. Okay, Pisces, I'll grab out some clarifiers. I might just take my flanny off. Seems to like to hit the cards all the time. It's lovely to hear from everybody how hot it is in the Northern Hemisphere at the moment. Enjoy it while you have it. Enjoy the sunshine. Enjoy the beach. Enjoy some swimming. Something I love to do. Okay, Pisces, let's do it. What is the Six of Cups? What's the Six of Cups for Pisces today, spirits? You have Justice. 
Libra energy could be significant. So the Six of Cups, Memories, a Soulmate. You've got the Ten of Laurels. So this could be someone that's a family member. Then you've got Strength coming out, Leo energy. So Leo energy could also be significant. There could have been a reconciliation with somebody. You've got the Six of Cups. This could be a soulmate, as I said, someone from your past or a past lifetime. This person could be someone that you're married to, someone that you're sharing a home with, working together with, with some type of legacy. But you've got justice coming out. So I feel like this person's coming in to give you equal. Libra energy and Leo could also be significant. But I feel like coming together with this person could be a lot of work also with the strength card coming out. Someone that could be very attracted to you. Someone that's very focused on you. So this person, as I said, they could be from the past or a past lifetime. But, you know, they want to come in giving equal. They want equal with you. But it could be a lot of work. What is the Page of Wands? What's this Page of Wands for Pisces? So you've got the Five of Cups. The Seven of Wands. And the Six of Cups. So there could have been an ending with you in this energy in the past. But this person's wanting to come in and grant some type of wish. I feel like this person is wanting to fight for this. There could have been conflict in the past. This person may bring drama into your life. This person could cause people around you or people around them to be upset that you are coming together with this energy. But I feel like this is like a wish granted. You've got that Page of Wands, Fire Energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. They could be a younger energy. You know, you, there's a mature man here. They're mature, I feel. They could be mature in the mind, not in the heart, though. As someone that is very focused on work, a teacher. You know, they're wise in what they do, I feel. But I feel like they, I feel like they were lost without you and I feel like coming together with this person could cause chaos but they want to come back you're working together with this person they want to come in and show you some type of evolution a transformation they want to show you that they are stable they are something stable Okay, let's keep going, Pisces. So what is this Hierophant for Pisces? So the Hierophant Taurus energy. You have the Five of Laurels, the Devil. This is a lesson that I feel you are learning and so is this person. With that Hierophant coming out and then you've got the Page of Wands. Like repeating cards. There's something spiritual about this connection, okay? So this could be someone that's a soulmate from a past lifetime, as I said. They don't actually have to just be from the past. Um, but you are learning lessons, I feel, from this energy. And they are learning lessons from you too. So meant to be in each other's lives. This is some higher commitment, I feel. And I feel like... This person is very passionate about you. You've got the devil coming out, Capricorn energy. That could be significant with this person. Also Taurus. I feel like there's this codependency. There's this stuck energy. This person, I don't feel like is learning the lessons as quickly as you. They're feeling lost 
without you. So there could be no communication or very little between you and this energy, but they don't want to let go of this. This is someone that wants to be stuck with you, but I feel like this person could also have addictions or a codependency to something in their life. And I feel like they are learning some type of lesson, I feel, at the moment with this, like, feeling left out in the cold, feeling alone when they don't have you as to why I feel like there's this coming together. And I feel like they do want to move, you know, in the future with you, um, but they've got to learn these lessons too. They've got to start picking up their game because they come in like as a page. So someone that I feel is still learning. This person though, I feel wants to show you that they have evolved. Things have changed in their life. So they could come in and tell you something um, about wanting to come together. They could have maybe tried to tell you things through the 5D world, but I, you know, obviously you're not going to know unless someone says something, right? What is the Page of Swords? What's this Page of Swords? So you both are coming together to learn lessons, okay? And you're walking together learning lessons. This person wants to show you that they've changed. What's the Page of Swords? You've got the Six of Laurels. The King of Laurels. And the Three of Laurels. Okay, so there's someone that sits on the outside, okay? While you move along on a path here, on a path of learning some type of higher learning, something spiritual, you're evolving you know, mentally within yourself, there is another energy here that watches you, okay? I don't think this is the same energy. You've got the Page of Swords, so this could be a younger energy. It could be a child. It doesn't have to be. This could be just someone that's, you know, not as mature in the mind as you. So you're attracting people that, you know, that aren't awakened like you are okay but you could be someone that likes to help people this person has got the hots for you okay that's that's what comes out when i look at that card there's two people coming together here talking and this person's sort of shy on the side um a bit bashful they could have earth in their chart virgo capricorn taurus this person could be a boss a leader someone that's stable in the material world this person could also be a parent, a father. This person you could have been giving to in the past and now they sit back and watch. Someone that is not showing any emotion also, they're just sort of sitting there like nothing is wrong, smiling. like a smile, like obviously someone's not going to have a smile like that, but you know, like a cheesy smile, a cheesy smile. But I feel like this person sits back, they watch you. This person is feeling like they need some healing because as I said, these people around you aren't on your level and they look at you as someone that's very wise someone that's very spiritual this person i feel wants to work with you you've got the three of laurels coming out and the six of laurels like they want to give some type of equal i feel like they want to come together and have your point of view and their point of view get, you know, mixed together to make something. So whether this be something in the material world, because you do have the King of Pentacles, or whether this be in love, you know, this person could be a parent, a father, someone that's in King of Laurels energy. So someone that's making the money, someone that's focused on money, someone that's very stable in the material world. I also feel this person's wise.
someone that could be very stuck in their ways too that's really coming out let's get on to the queen of wands so you've got the queen of wands in the center of your reading today pisces what is this queen of wands what is the queen of wands for pisces so you have the emperor aries energy the ace of cups and the chariot okay so the queen of wands fire energy leo aries sagittarius could be significant i feel like there is an energy here doesn't actually have to be feminine they could just be in this feminine energy of someone that's like the passionate warrior queen that's someone that's following their dreams this person's wanting to come in they're making a decision this person could be in a relationship also you know take what resonates for you pisces this person wants to heal something so aries energy could also be significant with the emperor coming out but I feel like this is this King of Pentacles energy that we saw here. This person's making that decision to come in with a cup. This could be something new. This is someone that doesn't show emotions, someone that's very cold. They sit back, study the situation, you know, and that's what they're doing here in the Page of Swords energy. But I feel like they're making the decision to come forwards. With the Emperor coming out, he is the daddy of the deck. So this person could be a father. They could have a third party. But this is something new. This person's coming in with a cup, with emotion. This person wants to show you that they are reliable. This could be something that is surprising too because I looked at that gift card. What is death? But they're planning on moving forwards towards you. What is death? What's death for Pisces? You have the King of Wands. The Nine of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Four of Cups and the Star. So death, Scorpio energy. There's an ending. You know, I feel like you're walking with this person up here. This person wants to walk with you. I feel like you could be letting them come along for the ride. You may be helping them out. this person i feel could have missed an opportunity in the past and things could have ended between you and them with death coming out scorpio energy this person starting to realize that because you could have other people in your life pisces this person sits there feeling like the wounded warrior after battle there, I feel debating whether they're going to come in with the truth. Like they want to be in your life. They want to be there with you. But I, I feel like they're just not being completely honest on the top row. Okay. And I feel like they're starting to realize that like, you know, the truth and clarity is that they've missed an opportunity. Okay. You've given up hope on this. This is an ending. And you've got the star here, Aquarius energy could be significant with this person, but you're pouring out your emotions. You're letting go of control of the situation. You could have tried to control the situation in the past. It didn't work. This person was preoccupied on something else. They could have fire in their chart, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is someone that's very attracted to you. They could be someone that's very athletic or muscular goes to the gym
you know, this person looks at you very attractively too, you know, because they walk towards you for help, okay? But they don't seem to give you the honest truth. You know, and I look at you too as this king of wands you're someone that's very passionate you're someone that's fighting for what you believe in you're a doer you're sitting in king energy you don't actually have to be masculine just someone that's doing it you're someone that's passionate you're someone that fights for what you believe in you may not think before you speak also but that's still a lesson i feel this person's missed the opportunity in the past and it's because there wasn't honesty, I don't feel. Let's get into this future energy for you, Pisces. So let's see what this magician is. What's the magician? You have the Page of Swords. The Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Cups. I feel like you've moved away emotionally from that past energy. I feel like you may have healed over this. You may have mourned this. This person may have hurt you in the past. This person may have manipulated you. Virgo energy could be significant. But I feel like this person does not not want you in their life you know there's someone that's stuck on you like codependent of you there's like a lesson they need to learn that that i feel like they're learning at this time in their life but when i look at that magician card when i drew the cards it just reminded me of like triple h um back in the day his song um, you want to play the game? It, that just really came out. But I feel like this person, they sit back and watch you, but you're going to have to make a decision. You've got two knights here. You know, this person could be very flighty. This person could act one way, act another way. You know, in the past, they could have been someone that was very sexual. But it's like they're, they're changing. They want to come in as someone reliable. They want to start something. I feel like they're being a student. You know, they're learning lessons from you. They want to walk with you while you walk along this path in life. I feel like they want to be the student. This person is someone that is very fiery, someone that, you know, is a bit like you, I feel, someone that doesn't think sometimes before they speak, someone that fights for their rights. But this is someone that's very, very attracted to you. This person doesn't want to let you go. This person's trying to manifest you back into their life. Whether they want you to play the game again or not is a different story. But I feel like, you know, they come in, they want to show you that they're reliable. They know that there's something else going on in your life and I feel like they need to act on it. What is the Eight of Swords? You have the Four of Laurels. The Four of Swords. And the Queen of Wands. So I feel like... And you've got the Magician on the back of the deck. There's something you manifested into your life. You know what you want in your life, whether it's money, love, family, a house. You know, whatever your dreams are, there's something that you've manifested and you're waiting for that to come in. With the Eight of Swords, I feel like this person's going to leave you in your head when they do come in. They're taking action to move forwards. They want to show you that they are reliable. They are coming in with a bit of emotion. But, 
it's like there could still be something hidden with this person like there's this manipulation energy that i keep i keep looking at him and he's it's like he's trying to trick me <laughs> this person doesn't want to be fully vulnerable with you and as I said, this person is still learning lessons. And I feel like you're going to be in your head when this person does come forwards again, trying to show you that they are someone that's reliable, someone that can show emotion. I feel like you don't want to let go of this person. I feel also that you just want to heal from it all. You want stability in your life. You know, you come out as the queen of wands. Someone that's like the peacemaker. You do have protection. I feel like you hold back from this person because you've learnt lessons. You've learnt lessons with this energy. They want you to give to them, but you're just not knowing what you should do. It's like you're imprisoned in your mind about the situation. So you do have options around you. There's an energy up here that wants to come in. Someone that's very passionate about you. Then you've got another energy from the past that I feel is wanting to come in and heal things, which is going to leave you in your head but i feel you know with the eight of swords you're being imprisoned in your own mind you can take the blindfold off you can make the decision now the queen of wands also uses her intuition let's keep going because there's something you're manifesting this person may not be giving it to you, you may not be seeing it yet. You don't know whether you should just keep going forwards. What is the King of Wands? What's this King of Wands for Pisces? You've got the Nine of Swords. A lot of fire, a lot of passion in your energy. The Magician, the Eight of Swords and the Two of Cups. Options. King of Wands, Fire Energy, so many Kings and Queens of Wands coming out today. Look behind his back. This person is trying to, they want to come into union, okay? So you've got the fire energy leo aries sagittarius someone that's very attracted to you. this person holds a lot of fire for you this person could be very attractive also they could have fire in their chart but there's a lot of anxiety being closed off wearing a blindfold look at all these wearing blindfolds not making a decision this person could have virgo in their chart the magician is coming out a lot They're in their head about coming in with a union. So a union of a commitment. This is something they want, but there's something that holds them back and it's themselves. So they could have, as I said, I think at the beginning of the reading, this person could have some type of trauma that happened in their life as to why they think the way they do. And they have a lot of challenges that I feel they need to get through to be at a level I feel that you are. So I feel Pisces with this person, they're not going to tell you the honest truth just yet. 
but they are going to show you that you can rely on them, okay? <clears throat> this person does want to walk the path. They have, like, with you, but they have a lot to do to catch up. If they want to be in your life, you know... I feel like Pisces, you make the decisions in your life. This is your life. Everybody has free will, okay? Whether you want this person to walk the path with you, you know, you might not be looking at them as something that is a love interest anymore. They may not be meeting the criteria. You know, but everybody has free will. Some people do want, you know, this person back. Some people don't. Some people will forgive this person. Some people won't. It is all your decision, okay? But this person does want to be in your life. What's temperance? What's temperance? You have the seven of swords. I feel if you want to have patience with this person, you're going to find out the truth eventually in the future. You've got the Two of Swords. And Strength. <clears throat> There's something that you want in life, okay? You left this situation because it wasn't fulfilling. This person wasn't giving you everything you desire and I feel like you are healing from that you could have healed from that you know you're looking for your other half your twin your divine flame if sorry your twin flame your divine love you know it depends on what your story is you could be someone that's you know more focused on the material world at the moment but I feel whatever you're focused on, you know, whatever you want, have patience, keep going. The answers will come. I also feel like you may let go of that past energy to move forwards. Because they could be weighing you down. This is someone that's not learning those lessons to me it's like they're not they're still manipulating the situation this could be just a cycle you need to learn from a karmic cycle so for the six of wands you've got justice so you will get victory in the end. As I said, keep walking the path. Keep following your dreams, your manifestation. If this person isn't what you want, keep going. Divine does have your back, okay? We have been seeing this come out in the reading the last few days that you are moving on with life, but this energy is not wanting to let go, but they don't seem to be changing their ways what's the six of wands you've got the page of wands justice and the four of cups you will get your equal you will get your karma you know you are learning the lessons there's someone here that's coming in that missed an opportunity with you okay You've got the page of wands coming out. Could be a younger energy. They could have fire. There's more fire. There's a lot of attraction, a lot of passion in the air around you. I feel like this is going to surprise you, this person coming in. 
This person could watch you. You've got the six of wands coming out. You could do something online. This person could be someone that I feel could be part of the crowd cheering you on because I feel like they come up to you with a message while you're focused on the material world or focused on something that you're you're working on but I feel like don't miss this opportunity because you've got the four of cups coming out so this person comes in with this cup you could be really hard at it don't miss the opportunity go with the flow of life What's meant for you won't deny you. But this is going to be your karma. This is going to be your justice. Libra energy could also be significant with this person. See, you've got a tower on the back of the deck. Something significant happening. Something happening that you have no control over. I think it's something surprising that you don't see coming. Okay? But divines message to you with that is don't miss this opportunity either so you have a few decisions to make pisces every day i read the energy i read the cards whatever's on the cards i am going to say So if it's a bit the same as yesterday, the energy hasn't changed too much. Things aren't going to change that quickly sometimes. And as I said, I'm just reading the cards. But if you're watching this video, you do know that there are messages for you in it. So Pisces, I am going to do three piles. So pick your pile one, two, or three. You can pick more than one. So you have number one, two, and three. So you have pile number one, end of the road, boys to men. Pile number two, new flame, Chris Brown. And number three, girls like you, Maroon 5 featuring Cardi B. So listen to those songs. They will have messages. I'm going to grab out a Celtic Spirit Oracle card for you now, Pisces. One card for the collective, Pisces Collective. Rest. Stop. Recharge. Self-care. So rest, you may need to rest, you may be feeling exhausted, you may be doing a lot. Always remember to balance life out, stop and recharge. Um, because if you get burnt out, how are you supposed to do everything that you need to do? So you need to have that rest, okay? You need that self-care, you deserve it. I'm gonna leave it there, Pisces. Thank you all so much for being here. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember all my readings are timeless so if you ever want to check out my channel there is a playlist for pisces i thank you all for watching liking subscribing being here every day and sharing your energy i love doing these readings every day i love seeing what's going on in the pisces energy for the day pisces are doing their thing pisces are learning the lessons you are on some type of higher path at the moment and you know it and you need to just keep going also remember to balance your life out, recharge, have that self-care, okay? As I said at the beginning of the reading, it is summertime in the Northern Hemisphere. Enjoy yourself, enjoy the sun, get out in the sun, enjoy the sunlight on your body. Um, but whatever you do, do it for you, okay? Because you come first before everybody else. If you're not recharged and rested up, how are you supposed to give to all these other people that need you? But I love you all so much, Pisces. Just remember, I have 10% off my personal readings on my website. If you would like a personal reading from me, check out the link in the description below. Also write in the code word 10K to get that 10% off. 
But I love you all so much. Thank you all for being here. I wish you all the best in the future. But as per usual, I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.